Mr. Butcher and Teddy came to perch. Chapter 1 The Perch It was springtime and Mr. Putter and his flying cat Tabby were feeling very chipper. The birds sang, the sun shone, the flowers bloomed. Mr. Putter and Tabby went out on the front porch with a book. Let me read you a funny story, Mr. Putter said to the Tabby. Tabby purred. She liked funny stories. She curled up beside Mr. Putter and wait and wait and wait. But Mr. Putter was not looking at a book. He was looking at a perch post. Hmm, said Mr. Putter. He picked up Tabby and looked more closely. Hmm, he said again. Mr. Putter walked all around the perch, looking and saying, Hmm. Finally, he said, Tabby, this perch needs some paint. First, I am going to paint the perch. Then I will read you a story. Tabby purred. He she loved Mr. Putter's plans. Exactly when they include her. She followed him to the basement, swishing her tail. Happy it was spring. Chapter 2 Scat Mr. Putter carried his pinging things to the porch. He had a bucket of pink paint, big, a big brush, and some red. Suddenly, one of the rags got away. Tabby chased it across the porch and killed it. Good cat, said Mr. Putter, patting her on the head. Tabby purred. She might be old, but she could still catch a wild rag when she had to. Mr. Putter dipped his brush into the bucket and began to paint. As he painted, he began to sing. He sang about pepper, roses and blue bonnets and coming around the mountains. Tabby purred and purred. This is even better than a story. Mr. Putter didn't yodel when he read a story. All was going well when suddenly the squatter showed up. The squatter jumped onto a freshly painted perch rail. Shoo! said Mr. Putter. The squatter jumped onto another rail. Scat! said Mr. Putter. 
Then the square ran across the floor of the porch. And that's when Peppy remembered how good she was at tracing things. Yikes! yelled Mr. Potter. The squatter ran and Tabby ran and before it was all over, Mr. Potter Hirsch just squirted off paint it down. Uh oh. Messy. Messy. I don't like Chapter 3 Very Pink The next day Mr. Potter's perch was very pink The walls are pink, the floors are pink and even a few of the windows are pink Trees pink, grasses pink, oh. and Tabby was very pink. Uh oh. Mr. Putter's neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry, walked over <coughs> with her good dog, Jack. Oh dear, she said, looking at Mr. Putter's perch. Jack was sniffing tabby pink whiskers. Mr. Putter said, I have to do it all over again. He said, well then, I will, we will help, said Mrs. Tiberi rolling up her sleeves. So Mr. Putter went back to the basement. Tabby followed, swishing her pink tail. Soon, Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry were putting blue paint over pink. And all was going well until suddenly the tramp monk showed up. It jumped on a rail. It ran across the porch. And then Jack remembered how to go. He was chasing tramp monks. Oh no. Lovely yellow. The next day, Tabby and Jack stayed inside Mrs. T. Berry house while Mr. Putter painted his porch again. He covered up all of the pink, pale prints, and all of the blue, pale prints, and made a porch a lovely yellow. When the porch was dry, Mr. Mrs. Seabury arrived with Tabby and Jack. Mr. Putter is happy to have Tabby back. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, he brought a book out of a porch and said that he would read a funny story to everyone but just as mr putter was about to begin a pink square and blue trim walked by and mr putter and mrs t Barrow laughed too hard they didn't even need a funny story the end